the P-I-N-K-Y show. Hey, the girl, Pinky, P-I-N-K-Y, and I'm so fun. And today, Pink Panthers, it's another episode of ASL Lesson Time, okay? ASL Lesson Time, ASL Lesson Time, ASL Lesson Time, A-A-S-L-10 Time, okay? Now. I need to work on an ending, okay? But today for another episode of ASL Lesson Time, I am going to teach you guys about classifiers, okay? Now, you see this little paper? This was my packet for ASL 3. Because I, um, I took ASL, like I said, in high school, in college, now I'm in college. Um... Every now and then, you know, I knew a little something, something about classifiers. But, you know, it's kind of like in high school, we knew what it was. We kind of went over it, and that was the end. ASL 1 and 2 in college, he discussed it, like, for a little, but we really didn't go for it. In ASL 3 in college, that's when we went in depth. But I still didn't understand. Like, classifier is hard, but easy at the same time okay like it's too much okay and now i'm in asl4 and yes we're signing some sentences you have to figure out if uh you know like to use gestures classifiers signs this and that it's too much so pray for me y'all for this dang class but you know here we are okay now i want to you know, tell you guys about classifiers, show you which classifier is which, uh, show you the uh, hand movement of each classifier, and yeah, that'll be it for this lesson, okay? Now, here we go. Classifiers and correct usage, okay? Include those aspects of body language that do not involve the hands, such as shoulder movements, head tilts, and facial expressions. Okay, the hand shape is literally the shape in which we form our hand during the production of a sign. Okay, all signs have a hand shape. Classifiers are signs that use hand shapes which are associated with specific categories, classes, such as size, shape, usage, or meaning. Over time, certain hand shapes have been used so often to show certain sizes, shapes, uses, or meanings that when you hold up or use one of those hand shapes, people who know the language automatically associate the hand shape with a particular category or class of things, objects, people, animals, sizes, shapes, amounts, and usage. The commonly recognized handshakes that are typically used to show different classes of things, shapes, and sizes are called classifiers, okay? So that's what classifier is, you guys. I'm going to say it one more time. The commonly recognized handshakes that are typically used to show different classes of things, sizes, and shapes are called classifiers, Okay? The movement and placement of a classifier handshake can be used to convey information about a reference movement, type, size, shape, location, or extent. A referent is that which you are talking about or that to which you are referring. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Classifiers help to clarify your message, highlight specific details, and provide an efficient way of conveying information. Classifiers can be used to describe the set Classifiers can be used to describe the size and shape of an object, represent the object itself, demonstrate how the object moves, convey how it relates to other objects and or people. In general, classifiers have to be introduced prior to using them to represent an object. If we are going to talk about Jane, who was not in the classroom, I'll spell her name. Okay, so this is an example. This is the example, okay? So, if we are going to talk about Jane, who was not in the classroom, I'll spell her name. So, this is how you spell Jane. So, J-A-N-E. Or, if I'm talking about my sister, then I sign sister prior to using classifier 1 or classifier V. So, 
sister is sister sister okay and it's um uh, he or she is saying uh or if i'm talking about my sister then i sign sister prior to using classifier one or classified v so you're going to sign sister before you sh uh show the audience or whoever you're talking to which classifier that you're using okay sister classifier one bump into old boyfriend or if i'm talking about baseball i'll identify the sport before using the classifier three bent to represent the ball so anytime you're signing uh you're finger spelling a person's name or you talk about somebody or you're talking about a sport or certain things like that you sign whatever you signing or you finger spell whatever whatever you finger spelling then you show the classifier okay okay an effective classifier mimics the natural movement general shape of the object to which it is referring if using a classifier o flat to represent a dinosaur the head out to jog slash jab forward to represent the animal's long strides or if using the same hand shape for a cobra the hand must mimic the cobra side to side dance so when using classifiers um like roller skating so this is a sign for roller skating it's roller skating okay now you can't just do roller skating and that's it you have to do roller skating then show the movement of you actually rolling roller skating okay that's what you can also do for classifier as well it depends what you're signing what sentence you're signing it depends on all of that so you use action you use movement to mimic what you are referring to okay hopefully that makes sense uh, classifiers often work well with other classifiers to provide specific details about a situation, event, person, or thing. For example, this is another example. If you want to describe a couch, you, you can use the sign for couch, which is done by signing sit, then using moving both palm down C hands outward. If you wanted to make the point that the couch was lumpy, you could then move your C hands in an up and down wavy manner as you move them to the outside or if you wanted to describe the couch as being very long or being in an l shape you can move your c hands further apart or in an l movement path so couch so you do sit you sign sit then couch okay so sit the couch that is the sign for couch so that's the sign for couch okay Classifiers help to paint a more precise picture of what your object looks like or of what happened. For example, suppose there was a car crash. What happened to the car? Did the other driver hit you from the side, the front? What happened to you? Did you hit your head on a steering wheel or fly through the window? The list of classifiers below is a work in progress and is therefore not complete. It is now put forth as a comprehensive list of all the classifiers that are being used in American Sign Language or how they are being used. It is simply a list of many of the more common classifiers. The best way to learn how to use classifiers is by gaining out in the deaf community and observe the masters. Meet and chat with those who are native, deaf as much as you can engage in conversations interact and learn okay so this is meet design for meet and chat chat okay now now i'm about to uh tell you guys explain and describe you guys uh what each classifier means stands for and all that okay Note, as you study classifiers on some of these pages, I have included signs which evolved from classifier, but are so now so common and standard that they are considered just regular signs. So that's what my professor um, added a note. Um, I wanted to say something as well. Oh, you mostly going to see classifiers when a deaf person is telling a story. So, story time, storytelling. Uh, that's when you're mostly going to see uh, deaf people using classifiers. Or like I said, you can sign a story, you can sign a simple sentence, and 
you know, you're trying to describe the you're trying to describe something in a sentence, or you're trying to exaggerate. You will use classifiers. So that's really the main time you use classifiers. You, I don't, I don't think every time you sign to a deaf person, you got to use classifiers. And every, you know, I don't. It's not like that. You have to pick and choose. You know, when you're talking about details, when you're trying to be funny, when you're trying to describe something, that's when you're mostly use classifiers. So that's just a FYI, okay? A few of the more frequently occurring classifiers. So the first classifier is classifier one. So CL1, well, CL1, okay? Things that are relatively long and skinny. For example, a pencil, a stick, or person. So this is classifier one. This is classifier one. If the examples that you can use classifier one is for a pencil, a stick, or person. Like if you described a person, you could say, you could say, uh, like for I, you'd use was walking. So you're walking. You could use this for walking too, but if you're talking about classifier one, you know, this is how, you know, so you're describing uh, yourself as classifier one, you know, things that are relatively long and skinny, okay? Number two, classifier A, so classifier A, okay? An object in a certain location, for example, a house, a lamp, okay? So, like I said, classifier A, an object in a certain location, a house, and a lamp, okay? Classifier three, classifier three, vehicles, motorcycle, park a car, roll cars, accident, garage. So, this is a sign for garage. You see how it's three for the car and this? So, this is garage. That's garage. So, you use... so. You use classifier three for vehicles, like, you know, like the paper said. Like, if you park in a car, like, this is rows, like, row. And you have one car here, a uh, second car here, up uh, here, third car here, you know, you know. So, classifier three is for vehicles. So, if you want to describe a vehicle, you will use classifier three, Okay. Number four, classifier four. So classifier four, line of people curtain. Now, uh, the sign for fence, uh, you're using classifier four. So like for fence, it's like fence or, you know, crowd of people, you know, you're circling or like this, you know, long ways, sideways. That's uh, classifier four. So you're using classifier four for line of people. Or you could do line of people, like line, like, like line of people. That's when you use classifier four, okay? Classifier five. So classifier five, modified, scads of. Uh, I don't really know how to describe that. Classifier five to me is kind of similar to classifier four in a way, you know? Um, yeah, um, I don't know how to explain. Um, I'm going to show you the pictures of, well, I'm going to try to see if I can show you. Hopefully I can see it when I show you, but yeah, I'm just describing and explaining it to you. And then I'm going to show you like what it looks like and stuff. Okay. Uh, the next one, classifier B. So classifier B, flat things, roof, flat, wall. So for floor. This is the sign for floor, floor, floor. You know, this is classifier B, so, you know, okay? So, you use classifier, classifier B for flat things. So, if you uh, know something that's flat and you're trying to describe it, you will use classifier B, okay? Classifier C, classifier C. Thick things, round, pole-like things, Okay? So, like couch, couch, couch. You see the C? Couch, you know. So, uh, thick things, that's what you use, okay? Uh, this is another uh, type of classifier C. Index and thumb. 
pepperoni cookies campaign buttons y'all yeah, gonna say that cookies you know like cookies now i don't know how i think you do like like cookies 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 i like cookies i don't know how you describe cookie but yeah i need to review on that but yeah uh next one classifier f classifier f small i'm sorry y'all classifier f Small round things, buttons, quarters, tokens, eyeballs, instrumental classifier for holding on to small things. Also, for showing movement of small flying insects, okay? Classifier G, thin things or degree of thinness. Also, eyelids, okay? Classifier L, modified, large, big-headed, Egocystic conceited check card square. Classifier R. Rope like braided rolled and or twisted things. Okay. Classifier V. Legs. A person walking upside down V. Two people walking. Stand. Walk to. Lay down. Toss a turn. Dive. Jump. Skateboard. Scooter. Get up. Another type of classifier B, bent, a small animal or a larger animal sitting. Classifier Y, very wide things, a fat person walking, waddle, a hippopotamus, mouth, okay? Okay, now here is how it looks. I'm going to show you, okay? How many? 16, okay. A, open, so this is A, open, okay? So this is classifier A. So use like this. Uh, objects in objects in a specific no objects in a specified location, a house or a building on a street, a statue or a vase on a table, a lamp on a desk. So if you try to put something on a table, you would do you assign table, then you put the A bit like that. So table, then put it right there. Okay. B flat hand. So B. Flat hand. Smooth flat surfaces, road or runway, wall, hallway, ceiling, floor, shelf. Flat mobile surfaces, surfboard, skateboard, snowboard. People mover, moving sidewalk. In and animate objects in specified locations. Pictures on a wall. Books on a table. Race car on a road. In animate objects in specified, specified positions. Books lined upright on the shelf. Papers facing down. Height and width. A person's height, the width of a box, a stack of books. Deal and needing. Three-dimensional objects. House, box. A non-motorized riding device. Horse, bicycle. Curved hand. Curved hand. Like this. Curved hand. Curved hand. Curved objects. Bowl, sink, basson, or digging device. So bowl is like a bowl. So you do, you do this for bowl. Like this for bowl. That's a curved hand. Bent hand, like this. Bent hand. Smooth, flat surfaces, a long stretch of desert or road. Describing an object with sharp corners, the top of an area, such as a shelf or refrigerator. C. C is like this. C. Long cylindrical objects, pipe, canal, tunnels, short cylindrical objects, cup, glass, bottle. For cup, cup. You're setting it up. This is the C. So cup, cup, cup. Okay. A uh, cup, glass, bottle, thick cylindrical shapes, tree, strong biceps, thickness or depth of an object, a book, pizza, blanket, stack of paper, snowfall. C claw. C claw. This is C claw. Claw. Clusters of objects in a specified location. A group of students in a back room. A cluster of flowers. Sections. Location of a room in a house. Sections of a city. An article or column in a newspaper. Large, ob large objects in a specified location. A house out in the middle of nowhere. A camper on the back of a truck. Medium, round, flat objects. Cookie bash, small cap, yarmulk, a large dial, small spherical objects, clown nose, bulging eyes, large spherical objects, two hands, ball, teeth, commonly used for bearing teeth. 
C modified, small round flat objects, a disc, gold nugget, piece of food, moon. Height in or width of small objects. Similar to classifier G, a small bottle of perfume, a short pencil, a, lar a long screw or nail. But going back to the claw, claw, you really use that if you're describing like a group of people or like you're describing a group or like that's what you use the claw. Okay, y'all, Um, this is really long and I don't know if I'm going to uh, tell you all, all these classifiers. I'll probably have to make a part two. Um, but yeah, because yeah, it's a lot more paper. But I think... Um, I think I'm going to tell you the rest of it, but if it has like a small description, I'm just going to pick and choose which one you really need to maintain. Because like I said, this is a big packet and I don't want to bore y'all to death. So yeah, okay. So this is a C modified. C modified, okay. F, this is F. Uh, small, thin, round objects, button, coin, polka dots, pepperoni, pepper shaker. And it has other stuff, but I'm going to move right along. F, open. G, this is G. Short or shallow depths, thin layers of ice, shallow water, a small stack of papers. Move it on. H or U, a variation of classifier V, legs together, sitting on a sidewalk, a person on a surfboard. So this is H or U. This is how you do it. H bent. Fast, uh, fastening small objects to something else using a clasping movement. Badge, earrings, hair, barrette, paper clip. Okay. I. Very thin and long objects, string, yard, wire, thread, sherry stem. Horns. Animals with two horns, bull, ox, cow. And this is how you do the horn. That's how you do the horn. Like this. That's how you do the horn. Okay? I-L-Y. I love you. Now, this is a sign for I love you, but it, but it can also be used as a classifier. You can use this as a classifier for, like, planes. Like, plane flying, you do shh. Or you'd be like shh. Like. Okay? That's one of the things you can, um... Use for I love you. Like I said, like I said, type of airplane. With slight finger modifications, airplane can become a supersonic jet. Classifier RY. A spaceship. Classifier XY. L. L. Thin square objects. Place bag. Driver license. Green card. So for license, is this. This is license. L modified, circular oval shaped object similar to classifier C modified, but larger dish rug platter. And this is how you do the L modified. This is how you do it. O, thick, medium sized cylindrical objects, rod, tree branch, pipe, large cable, firehouse, saw shaker. O flat. Small squat objects with rounded end, very fast race car. R. Uh, braided or twisted material, rope, cable, braids, curl, strands, hair, or ribbon. S. Solid, spherical objects, head of a person or animal, head bobbing, head retreating into shell. V. People, or rather legs of people, laying down, standing up, legs together, kicking. So for stand up, you could do this for stand up. So that's going to be like a V that you can use. V bent. This is the V bent. Now you use this for like this, like table, or like seating, or like seating. Like that. That's how you use it. V bent, seat, seated, person or animal crouching, squatting, hunched down, perched. X, a person or animal that is crouched or hunched over using a modified version of classifier one. A person who skulks, slinks, shrinks, or slouches. So this is the um, X. 
X modify. X modify. Small objects commonly held between fingers, key, or winding device. Why? Wide or long objects, hippopotamus mount, long word, high heel stilettos. One. Long skinny objects, most commonly a singular person. Uh, three. Motorized vehicles, car, tractor, helicopter, bus, motorcycle. Three, curved. Small objects, gripped by the index thumb and middle finger, computer mouse, baseball, bowling ball. Four. Parallel lines, stripes, bars, fence, upright boundaries. Five, or open flat. Stiff and straight hairs or fur that stand or in mohawk. Last page. Five modified. Five modified. Scat. Oh, wait. Hold on. The other... Five or open flat. That's what it is. Large flat object, a serving platter, flat lid. Five modified. Now we're on to this. Scads. Scads of too many to count. Stars in the sky, freckles, audience or crowd. Basket full of clothes, gobs or money. Now, he, my professor put D to add C flat knee, flatten C, modify X, close X, but he didn't add it. So, yeah. And, um, you know, then he put some more reading, but I'm not going to read that because I know y'all tired of hearing me uh, freaking read. I probably bored as heck. Um, then, you know, he's still explaining, you know, the other classifiers. Now, this time, this is uh, different types of classifiers. So, descriptive classifiers, DCL are also known as size and shape spe uh, specifiers. Sasses, they describe a person or object. Uh, DCLB or bent B, extremely tall. Explanation, to represent the, descript the descriptive classifier, extremely tall. You hold the bent B hand high in the air while using an appropriate facial expression. Uh, DCL bent B short, DCL4 long hair, DCL1 bulletin board, DCL1 blackboard, DCL4 claw freckles, DCL4 stripe, DCLG thin, DCL4 claw curly hair. Semantic classifiers represent category of nouns. For example, people or vehicles. SEL1 person walking fast. SEL person person walks to. SEL3 scar drives to. SEL Y fat purses waddling, SEL flattened O fast car cruising, SEL bent B roll of chairs. Locator classifiers show placement or spatial information about an object. Sometimes indicate movement. LCLC, LCLB, place cup or napkin. LCL5, left floating to the ground. LCL1, sticks. One here, one here. LCLB, shelf over to the right. LCL1, goal post. 2H, LCLL, adjust a picture. Plural classifiers, indicating a specific number or non-specific number. PCL2, two people walking. PCL4, long line of people. PCL4, people moving in line. PCL5, whores of, often called scads of. PCLV, people seated in a circle. Instrument classifiers, you use your hands or in other part of your body to manipulate an object. ICL, driving. ICL, hammer and a nail. ICL, play checkers. ICL, play chess. ICL, light match. ICL, broom. ICL, sweep. ICL, water. ICL, pour in. ICL, garbage. ICL, dump out. ICL, wash clothes. ICL, hang up. Body classifiers, mine. You use your body to act out a role play. Sometimes this is like mime. Other times you just show the action or interaction that is going on. Often this involves role shifting, yawn, acting tough, give hug to a child, running hard, pumping arms, wait to crowd, listen for strange noise. That's when you role play, okay? Body part classifiers. A specific part of your body is doing an action. Uh, 2H, BPCLF, look at, 
BPCL kick back, relax, BPCL cross legs, B BPCL tap foot, BPCL use gesture looking up, BPCL flat C, big grin, BPLs, BPCL red face shy, BPCLB mouth frowning, okay? Woo! I am so sorry, you guys. This was a long video, all that dang reading. That's, like I said, classifiers is hard, but it's easy at the same time. Like, it's amazing how, you know, you be watching, you be watching people, like in my class. I've been seeing people doing really good job using classifiers. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, how do you do that? So, like I say, you guys, classifiers is hard, but easy at the same time. But, you know, I just wanted to share you guys that because, you know, that's what I'm um, going back and learning now in ASL 4. But I had that pack in the ASL 3. So, yeah. But I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like or dislike, thumbs up or thumbs down, comment, please. Please, Pink Panther, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can know when my next video is going to be here. Make sure you also tell your grandma, your granddad, your mom, your dad, your Amy, your cousin, your godbrother, your god sister, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whoever that you watching this channel, okay? This channel is for everybody. Everybody in a mama. Everybody in a dog, okay? Everybody, okay? Make sure you tell somebody about me, okay? Where where I left off? Oh, make sure when you subscribe, hit the yeah, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit the bell, cause it'd be like ring it ding a ding, 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 ding 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 ding. Okay, and you guys, you know my saying: Let's smile, be your style. Don't worry. Be happy, okay? This is your girl Pinky, P-I-N-K-Y, and